When I was in high school, I had a teacher in sociology, and she was a, a new teacher. She wasn't very old, and, and she was a, a very strong feminist and taught her class through feminism. And that was my first experience with the word feminism, with the actions of feminists. This was in the, um, this would have been probably 1971, 1970, 1971. And that was my first experience with seeing strong women do important things in the world. Um, I had been an activist before that as a younger person even, we did a sit-in at our high school when I was in ninth grade so that girls wouldn't have to wear dresses. That was my first uh, political action, I guess, that I ever did. And so the entire school went to the gym, sat down and said, we're not going to classes until you, you change the dress codes. So boys could wear jeans and girls could wear jeans. Um, and then I had this class, the, the either the year, probably about a year after that, and then I found the, the word for what I was, a feminist. Uh, misogyny. Um, I'm not sure I agree that it's a mental illness. I think it's a choice. I think it's a trained choice. I think that children are trained to treat women badly, especially boys. And Unfortunately, I think mothers and fathers both train their sons to be misogynists. Boy, this is really a hard one for me to articulate. The hatefulness of it is a trained thing. I don't think we're born as, thing, as beings that hate. I think that it's something that's taught to us. I think that it's something that we learn through watching others and seeing how others treat other people, just like racism or, or homophobism or whatever ism or ist you want to think about. I think it's a, a learned trait. Um, I think that it can be taken to a mental illness level, but I, think, I don't think the mental illness itself is misogyny. I think you can use misogyny within your mental illness just because of the training you've had as a child or young adult or when it, whenever you're exposed to it and you're attracted to it for whatever reason. It's a, it's a very uh, egocentric way of thinking where you cannot get outside of yourself and actually see what other people are doing around you. You only see it through your filters of hate. The only way that you can express hate to others is to have it be internalized. And the only way you can internalize it is by turning it towards yourself. So the people that hate others basically hate themselves first, men and women, I, I think.